I'm standing here with Dennis James. We're here obviously at the uh, San Marino uh, Little Expo, and uh, you just got done doing a huge tour of We're standing uh, Italy. at my own booth, the Dennis yeah. James Nutrition booth, to get it right. Now, let me ask you a question. When did you come in? You, you don't do enough? Now you need your own nutrition company? Yes, yes. I was, I'm working on that for quite some time, and I'm finally at this point where I can... Uh, really? Is this a Europe-only type of uh, supplement line, or is this going to be all over the place? It's going to be international, yeah, all over the place. Okay, we'll be in the yeah. U.S.? Uh, so I know retail you, only. Yeah, because you're pretty big in, in, all over the place. I'm exactly. Just, you know. I, I take advantage of my of my travels and my international connection. Right. And, uh, and, and in the U.S., like I said, it's retail only over the website. What are you selling? Just typical well, products? Right, right now, we start with four products. We got a fat burner, a test booster, a pre-workout, and an intro workout. Okay. All right. So you, you're starting with the, the basics, and then you'll build from exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I got we, you. We'll have about 11 products when it's all done. Now, you went. how many different places did you visit in Italy since you've been here? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, all right, so that's not bad. So I got today, tomorrow, and But they're like 600 miles apart, basically. Well, maybe not that far, but <laughs> it's just the small roads, and then you got to go through the mountains and tunnels, and it was a six-hour drive yesterday. Wow. So I got two more. I got Verona and Torino on Monday and Tuesday. Oh, so you're still here? Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, still so going You here. do it right. See, I, I can't, I don't have the patience to stay that long. You. I know, but you, I've been doing I get this. yelled at by the wife, you know, if, oh, I, really? if I've gone too long. See, yeah. my wife is used to it. She yeah. said, every time you come home, I feel like I'm staying with a stranger. Well, you've got, you got grown kids, though. I have a newborn baby, you know, so. Oh, right. Yeah, how old is it now? 11 months years. Oh, okay, mine is... 24 years old. Yeah, you are, you're, you're almost like uh, Troy Alves. You almost have grandkids. She's actually moving out this, this month. So. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah, I can be walking around naked that's in my own house. That's right. It only took 24 years, right? Exactly. All right, let me ask you. Tomorrow we have this uh, this Legends uh, Guru Seminar. It's, uh, Kev it's Well, Kevin Lavroni didn't make it, but it's Rich Gaspari, George Farah, myself, Sean Ray, and Flex Wheeler, and you're going to be yeah. moderating. Yeah, it's not so much guru. From what I understood is... It should be a, a seminar, a lecture seminar. We'll talk about talk to these guys about the past, how it was in the past, but compared to what it is now. I, I think one of the questions you should ask is, how do the people on the panel feel about the fact that years ago when they competed, no one had coaches? And nowadays, if you don't have a coach, like you're a loser, basically. Is it better or worse for the sport? I think that would be a very good topic, especially well, since some of the guys on the panel are coaches. Well, you know. si since I thought that we should all have conversation right. as the legends, we'll talk about the past, not right. so much as be, being asked questions. Everybody can throw out whatever they want. But I like, I think that's a very potent question, don't you? Because when you competed and I competed and, and, and uh, Richie competed, there were no coaches. Yeah. Well, there were some, but... But, but not really. Know. Everyone pretty not much like did their own thing. Not, yeah. If you don't have a coach, you don't think you can place. No. Or... or or you don't even know what you're doing. Some people don't sure. without a coach. I mean, you got bikini girls that have been competing for six days. You know, I mean, training for six days and they're ready to do a show and they need a coach because they don't know what they're doing. So now, nowadays they start with a coach. So that's right, uh, right, know. right. So I well, think yeah. it's it's an interesting topic because, you know, Rich Gasparri brought up to me at least that one of the first people with coaches was Ronnie because Ronnie Coleman didn't know what he was doing basically, and when he got together with Chad, I think you had worked with Chad a little bit, right? Right, right. Chad kind of turned him around completely and made him into Mr. Olympia almost. True. I mean, was it? Well, I think that was the first real success well, story. Back then, back then, Chad was probably training in the top five, top six in the Olympia. Right, and that was mostly because of the fact that there was a diuretic test too that had to be, you know, uh, that's another thing. Circumvented that's in yeah. some to some yeah. capacity, so. <laughs> or at least alternatives had to be made because you couldn't take prescription diuretics back then. True, true. And so Chad had you know was, had the intellect thing going on, and he figured out a, a way to lose water and, and to drop uh, excess. Yeah. Uh, when they came up with all kind of accusations back then. Right, right. You know, so everyone was using Chad back then. But but I, I think it's an interesting progression of how that little episode led to everyone saying they needed a coach. Right. And now coaching is a very lucrative business. True. You make a good money. You could make true. a good amount of money. You're, yes. I think you're the number one highest paid coach, no, from what I understand. True. Highest paid? Yes. Yes, you so are. I, I, I've talked to people. I think you, you get the How much money do you get for a client? If like someone off the street says, I want to work with Dennis James. Five grand? How much? Ten five, grand? Five grand. Five grand is good. Five grand is okay. But you'll take more than that, right? No. <laughs> No. That's a lot. Well, I don't get five thousand well, dollars. Well, I'm not as popular as you, evidently, I, internationally uh, at least. I offer the chocolate that comes with the vanilla on top. Of it. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, you can make a good living as a coach if you have the time you and you can devote yourself right. and, and, and take on as many clients as you possibly can. You can make. If a good you life. didn't have your nutrition line and your gyms and all the other yeah. things that you're involved, Gorilla Wear and but, everything. Yeah, but this is to all the trying to be gurus, nutritionists, coaches, yeah. 
it ain't that easy because you want to have to have uh, people that don't wait for you at home that don't want to talk to you because this is 24 hour right. babysitting is what I call it so right. um, you even have you, some people you, know, stay, you have people come stay at your house yes, I would I, never let anyone stay at my house yeah, see, I was always doing that because um, I felt because I was a competitor myself and I know how it is if you compete in a different country and you're not from there it's very hard to find hotels right. get your foods and the stores and and before I start driving these guys around yeah. to places, I might as well bring them into my home. I got you. You know, but all that stop now too. I don't do it anymore. Oh, you don't do it anymore. You see, no. I think what you should do is you should build like a like a little Dennis James hotel where I you put the a, people up I, in. I actually had a, a rental. I had a nice house, five bedroom house that I used for athletes. That's smart. And, I, and we used it for like two years, but I stopped that too. I think the bombshell girls do that. They have a bombshell house in, in, in Florida where they where they rented out the rooms to the girls. Yeah, but you know, some of these guys they just don't know how to act like. <laughs> <laughs> and they just can't keep shit clean. It's just <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Ed Connors back in the day, I'm sure you probably yes. say with it. Yes. Ed Connors used to complain that the bodybuilders would use so much toilet paper because they ate so much food they would clog his toilets up. It, Did you I notice that? It, I wish it would only be the toilet paper that they clogged up. They clogged up a lot of other stuff. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it's, sometimes it's not easy. But hey, you know what I mean? I, I like to help, uh, help as much as possible. And right. I like to help people get on the right path. You know, you can't teach them everything because everybody's different, but right. you can teach them the ropes so they can walk on their own and decide whatever they want to do. And what did you think of the Olympia outcome? Um, Phil won right. fair and square. I had no problem with that because I saw that Friday. Because this time it wasn't a Saturday Phil, it was a Friday Phil, mm -hmm. which was good for him. And um, yeah, I think the outcome was okay. I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, you know, Sean Roden, Dexter, um, we had um, Rami in front. Rami was in there, yeah. You know, who got uh, Billy and Bonac. William Bonac for me, of course, that he was really? very well deserving. And uh, yeah, I think I think it was okay. The only thing was okay. I mean, you know, Kevin, of course, you know, your number one pick uh, didn't fare It was a disaster. Well. It was a disaster. Yeah. Well, I don't want to say it was a disaster. It was a disaster. You know? I was just wondering. I was like, come on, Dave. Dave, you've been. You know, in this game. I already. I had you've to kiss. I had to kiss Sean Ray's feet already. So no, 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 you ain't got to kiss my feet for that. No, I'm not yours. Saying, I, uh, Sean I was, Ray's, I did. I know, but I'm just saying. You would never like, make me do it, but Sean Ray would make me do that, and I already did it. I said, Sean, you're right. I said, you're right. I just told myself, I said, Dave has been in this game for so long. I liked the hype of the whole thing, but I never I saw his know, legs. He but lied, you, but he lied. He lied. Did you really, really believe in your heart right. that he has what it takes to come and win the show? I, I thought that his legs, if his legs were better, he would be competitive. He had no legs in 2003. You're right. You're right. His legs were already gone. You're right. So why would somebody... I, went, I so bucked why the conventional would, wisdom. Okay, I'm talking to the, the videographer right That's now. Right. Why would the legs that were gone 13 years ago all of a sudden come back well, in 52? He, he says he got over all his injuries. So I, yeah, I yeah. believed it because I wanted to believe it yeah, I in mean, my heart I, I as was, a fan. I was hoping. As a fan, I was wanting And when somebody, if he, if he would have had a little bit of legs left, yeah. he would have showed him somewhere. Along, you're right. You're right. You're prep. right. I can't so deny that. So, but now, you know, a new Is cabin, it a mistake for him to keep going? I, now I think it's a big mistake. Now I think there's no way he's getting his legs back. Nah, well, his neck's not coming back. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I had a talk with him in Germany, and yeah. he said, you know, yeah, you know, I couldn't train my legs. And <laughs> that's what you said in 2003 yeah. and 2002. But now, what are you going to say next year? Right, right. You know, was it another one? Is this is a hype train for Kevin just to build up some drum well, up some business? Well, whatever. If, if that was the reason behind all this, he did a good job because it worked. It did. He definitely he, brought he his name back up. All, yeah. He's definitely back in, 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 in the talks with people, talk about him. But you can't keep talking like that and don't deliver. Now no. you've got to deliver because yeah. you're going to go right back well, where it was. Well, then people are going to start making fun of him after a while because yeah. it's he gonna... says He says, and, he, and I believe that he believes what he says, he said, eight more months and I'm going to win a pro show. Okay. Do you think that's possible? Uh, I think it's not. I, now, I, now that I've seen his legs, I, I, I highly doubt it. Yeah. I highly doubt that um, his upper body will be good enough to win the pro show. Mm -hmm. But I gotta say one thing: as a big fan of Kevin and as as the man that made me start bodybuilding, I gotta mm -hmm. say, at 52 years of age, being away from training for so long, you know, right. he did a great job. And you know, I don't buy this six months stuff because he trained. He trained for over a year. year. Yeah, he trained, he trained for year. over a year, and he's been. He was big already at his show in Poland, yeah. which was seven months out from the Olympics. Right. So I don't buy all that. But another eight months, he'll probably look the same. <laughs> and if it does, that will be good because he's going to get another year older. Right. So it's going to be harder to maintain. Sure. So if he can maintain that for another year, he's going to be the best fifty-three-year-old looking body. Now, how old are you now? Fifty. Now, at fifty, you're still big. I'm still, yeah, bigger than average. I, I mean, would say. yeah, I mean, because I know you had, you said you were going to downsize, but you don't. I did. You I did. did a little bit, but 
Would you ever? A little bit. I count size 30, 30 kilos. No, nah, I don't believe you. You're full of shit. What do you mean? What do you weigh now? I, you want to know? Yeah, I do. Two forty. Okay, but that's that's. So that's, that's thirty still, kilos less. Yeah, but that's still big. Well, it's, I'm, I told thirty you. kilos, maybe thirty pounds, not thirty, 30 kilos. kilos. What's thirty kilos equal in pounds? That's like seventy-five pounds. What were you, 300, was twenty three hundred twenty pounds? I was three hundred, easy. Were you really? Okay. Easy. I was three hundred on a bad day. All right. So I would. Easy. You, would you consider? Oh, I don't even know what three hundred pounds. We don't remember. Would you? Would you consider a comeback? No. Okay. Absolutely. I'm not stupid. I'm not disillusioned. I don't know. I, could, right. I could nowhere near. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that because could, you have a lot of other I stuff could, going on here in I your could, life. I was no possible way for me to be nowhere near as good as. I could give you an example. Would you be Kevin Laroni right now if you decided to make well, a comeback? He didn't call me out for fifty thousand. <laughs> don't call. Don't. Don't, nah, don't do it. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. What if I'm Kevin saying called you out for I fifty grand, it. would you do it? No. Oh, no. I'll make fifty grand. Not training. Not dieting. That's and, true. And, 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 he charges fifty grand for clients. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, what I'm saying is, I tried it in 2012 to make a comeback after I a two year layoff. And you look. And you look so good. Two year layoff, and I was in my high forties. I looked okay, but yeah. I compared the 240 on stage there Most to the, the 240 in 2006, and it was two different bodies. Right. It right. looked like a 20 pounds less, so yeah. there's no no way for me to anyway, ever yeah. come back. So you're very realistic, in other words. Yeah, I think, shit, why would I come back and then look at myself right. like, oh, why did you do it? Now, what happened to the gym in uh, Australia? You still involved in that? Yes, I'm still uh, somebody involved in it, yeah. Okay, all right, because I know you were living out there for a while. Not living, I just go there to uh, just, just stick around for a while. you got so many places that you're involved in. How, how do you have enough time to, to do everything? Do you feel overwhelmed sometimes? You know, I somehow manage stuff very well, and I and I like I'm very I work very well under pressure. Yeah. And I always go by what I have the tattoo on the side of my rib, which what says, is that? "I'd rather be tired than broke." That's good. That's good. So this is what I live by. That's why you never broke. Exactly. That's why I don't try not to be broke. That's why you're always tired too. I'm always tired. <laughs> you did a very and good sleep, job. And on I the sleep on the planes, uh, yeah. so I'll flat that right. thing out in 16 hours, and I'm nonstop sleeping. Yeah. Do you get first class like George does? Business. You business. do get business. I can't okay. afford the first. <laughs> well, yeah, that's Tony George. That's Tony George, yeah. That's <laughs> it's the only plane that you know, flies first class where there is no first class. <laughs> well, he, he, you know, he told me he spent $19,000 on a plane ticket to Australia. Um, Chris Aceto told me that he didn't think it was possible to spend $19,000. Well, I, it is possible it because is, yeah. it happened to me one time. The first time I went to, uh, um, to Australia for the gym was uh, they bought me a, a, a one way ticket that was 12000 something. Oh, wow. And then we had to buy another one way ticket back, but we got that. For like eight, so it was. Oh, so you actually pounds. paid more than George did yes, for your combined because, ticket? No, not me, because they booked it in right. two one-way tickets wow. instead of a round trip. I got you. But nineteen thousand on, is, on a one-way. On a one-way? No, it was a round trip. He said. A round trip, first class. Yes. Well, if you buy it the day before you leave, yeah, that's yeah, possible. Yeah, it was two it's days possible. before. He said, yeah, it's possible. I think possible. you did a great job at the Olympia, by the way. You're very entertaining at the press conference. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, a lot of people appreciate that. Um, is it hard for you to, to toe that line between being friends with the guys and asking them the truth, truthful questions? No, because I do this in, on a friendly basis too. In private, I talk to these guys. I ask. I'll be, I'm, too, I'm just keep it real all because the time. people get insulted. You know that when, know. You, when you bring I've up stuff. That, yeah. I've learned that right away because in Germany it's a little different. In Germany, you talk how you feel. Right. You know. And, and, America is a little bit different. In America, when you meet somebody for the very first time, if you know him or not, you yeah. don't even know if you like the person. Right. First thing you say, it's so good to meet you. Yes. Right. I don't even know you. Right. You know, and in Germany we say hi and bye. Right. So, and, and, and I'm just used to being straightforward. If I, you know, sometimes what I say doesn't sound right because I don't mm. know how to put it in the American way. Because the pleasant you wanna, way, yeah. Yeah, just make it sound like, you know, it's a, you know, honey this and, and you yeah. don't even know me. Oh, you call me honey. We, we don't right. even know right, each other. Right, right, right. So it's a little different. And so, but I think after people get to know me, they know who I am. And when I say something, it maybe sounds a little harsh, but it's not really like that. Well, I have a good heart. Great seeing you again, Kevin. We'll see you. Kevin. Kevin. Dennis, and we'll see Dennis at the uh, seminar. He'll be asking all the tough questions to the legends. I'm not a legend, but I, I, I Troy, Troy, uh, Sean Ray said to me, how come you're in the, in the seminar? You're not a legend. I said, but I tell the truth. That's why they put me in the, in the seminar, so. Well, uh, I don't care who's in the seminar. Right. Like I said, it's not going to be no questionnaires. It's going to be a, a round table. Let's discussion. put it like a round table All discussion. Right. We'll talk about the old times. We'll talk about the good times. We'll right. talk about the new times. Right. And we might talk about some things that we heard and seen in the past. All right, let's go. Sounds right. good, man. Dennis James here.